Hi everyone, my name is Leslie Lesejo. This is Leslie Lesejo Live, and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> So today we're talking about Hungani Ntlovu. So Hungani Ntlovu posted a video yesterday. I think it's a paid promo video uh, in partnership with Drostyhoff SA and um, used someone's, someone's song on the video. So apparently it's a song that he loves and he wasn't aware of who the who the creator of the song is. So this is a paid promo and he was just promoting the wines because i am the girls and i love the wines yo what's up we are drinking wines so i'm going to tell you this video okay now we don't eat the pup we eat meat and the wines i like wines and the girl. Okay. So as per usual, I went through the quoted tweets and I saw this quoted tweet from the creator of the song. He was livid. He was angry that he wants he wants to be credited for his own sound, and that's valid, guys. Granted, he needs to demand what he feels like he is old so he's taking trust to half he's he's he quoted hungani to let them know that guys this is my sound and you guys didn't tell me anything about the sound being used to make money for other people what is going on the guy was asking for just validation for people to ask permission for his sound and that he doesn't even care about money he just wants people to credit him that's all and then he went on to say that uh drusty hoff should should email him or he's going to remove the sound on the on on instagram and hungani will be dancing on mute hey, banna. Oh. Hey, banna. so hungani went and replied uh basically telling the guy that Crediting him is not a problem at all. He was just trying to plug a song that he really likes, but he didn't know the artist. So he just said that let's not assume that always people are taking advantage. Sometimes just tell, enlighten someone so that things can be corrected. You know, he just, the way he spoke, it was very humble of him to, to reply the way he replied because the guy was just, blowing fire everywhere and that guys i understand when you're angry but you must also put the fact that you are an artist and you you also need to be professional about your craft you cannot just go around blowing fire on everything and everyone you are closing doors on yourself by being very rude and being very obnoxious about you the way you put things out there just saying just saying it's just my opinion Don't take it or leave it it's up to you the guy went on to quote uh hungani's reply and hungani's reply was very humble the guy went and used vulgar language talking about don't make shitty excuses uh don't steer a narrative back and around um this and that he he went on hard on on hungani and hungani was like um he was like my guy let's not do that i've tagged you and you asked as you asked so let's not make it unpleasant and then he said have a great day you understand how how professional he is about everything when the guy is just like going in and this guy goes in hard on hungani like this because twitter people are on his neck telling him tell him bro don't don't, don't let this person uh, make a fool of you like this 
hey, you guys will lose bags over Twitter people who are just there to influence you. But when shit hits the fan, they are not, they are nowhere near you. So be careful of how you handle, especially when it comes to your career. You will always be known. Twitter is a lifetime stamp. People are taking screenshots. I just screen grabbed everything right now. You could lose a lot of bags because of this behavior that you just displayed on Twitter. And for what? You could have just literally sent him a DM and said, bro, please do this and that and that and that. And he would have replied or he would have given you a, a, a platform, maybe apologized or apologized professionally, you know, and credited you properly. But now because you just went in hard for no reason, bro, for no reason. There is a reason for you to be angry, but there's no reason for you to be rude and vulgar about it. Sometimes being nice takes you a long way. You could have gotten probably a bag out of this if you just approached it in a good manner. That's all that I'm saying. Be careful of how you handle these things next time because this is your career that you are flushing down the drain anyway we're done with this foolery please catch the love locked trailer monday the 24th of july on the on the global uncut guys i can't wait to see hungani and his wife doing the things well it's just a trailer for now but i'm sure the trailer will let you know when the movie is coming out so I was just watching their their, their channel yesterday back on the on the channel. Whoop whoop! I love I love that couple, guys. I don't want to lie. So just check the the trailer on Monday. I'm sure it's gonna be lots of fun, guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video up until now. Please subscribe, please like, please share. And please engage down there. Tell me, let me know if maybe, uh, maybe get better, guys. Maybe get better. Whatever that I just said is just nonsense. But is it not advisable for you to approach things in a cool manner or in a professional manner when it comes to your career? You can't just rock up and start swearing at everybody and expect good results. You're not going to get good results. But anyway, to each their own, guys. Do whatever you feel is good for you but just let me know down below what you think i like knowing what you think you guys you guys are the best though you guys are the best <laughs> thank you so much guys see you on the next upload